Originally a method of water torture for those who spoke ill of the great and mighty Kim Jong-un, this next way to escape also shows the ability of North Koreans to lift themselves up when they're down. North Koreans push themselves despite the elements every single day. To escape North Korea, they can even push themselves up against water. This is amazing! I hope my gym trainer doesn't get any ideas. So how is this water workout even possible? As Wayne moves at speed across the surface of the water, he angles his hands down so the water comes in and strikes them and gets deflected downward. And in response, there is a force that pushes Wayne back upwards. If he hits enough water molecules per second, it will provide a big enough force to hold him up above the surface. Another trick Wayne employs is that his feet are actually supported on the structure of the boat. And those supports are only taking half of his weight. When his arms are fully extended, his hands only have to support the other half of his weight. Ah, the snow-capped mountains of the Chinese border. A shimmering winter wonderland that stands between the totalitarian North Korea and communist China. If you survive the deadly slopes, there is no telling what waits for you on the other side. This escape method is almost as scary as defying the great leader to his face. But the rewards are even greater than the risk. Human rights, food, capitalism, and of course, free Wi-Fi. Bravo! How does this death-defying escape route work? This cool narrow passage that Cody is skiing through is called a couloir. It's a natural gully in the rock that traps a lot of snow, making it irresistible to extreme skiers. Coming down this mountain, Cody hits speeds of almost 70 miles per hour. That's about 110 kilometers an hour. The most terrifying thing about Cody's run is its steepness. At its most extreme, the drop is at 60 degrees. And that's actually the angle of repose for snow. Any steeper, the snow will start sliding down. And this is how you escape North Korea in the winter. The China border, a harsh winter wonderland. The DMZ, a harsh landmine wonderland. Is there no option for escape? Ah, there's always the water skiing wonderland known as the Sea of Japan. Ah, a hot air balloon. What a scenic and relaxing way to escape North Korea. Or is it? How do you get the slow hot air balloon to outrun the North Korean naval force? To get a faster speed, instead of just being dragged along in a straight line behind the balloon, he moves in a zigzag pattern and that way, he travels a greater distance than the balloon does in the same amount of time. If the balloon were a lot higher, the line holding Karsten would be almost vertical, essentially pulling him upwards and out of the water. 